if the spirit of god is there in you god who raised jesus will raise you also romans 8:11 if the spirit of god is there in you god who raised jesus will raise you also romans 8:11 if the spirit of god is there in you god who raised jesus will raise you also romans 8:11 11 Welcome all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Let us see what the topic is today If the spirit of God is there in you God who raised Jesus will raise you also Romans 8:11 this is the topic today what must you do to know whether there is spirit of god in you or not you must identify the spirit which dwells in you is the spirit of god or the spirit of satan how to know the spirit which dwells in you is the spirit of god or satan if the spirit of god is there in a man the following attributes or qualities will be there in that man now we should see what are the qualities or the attributes which a man must have in his heart to say that he is having the spirit of god first thing is the man must have love he should have love in his heart to all the people he should show his love to all the people without any partiality or discrimination this is first quality of a man who has the spirit of god second one there should be happiness in his heart happiness there should be happiness in the heart of the man who has the spirit of god third attribute is is peace there should be peace in the mind and heart of that person peace third thing fourth thing forgiveness the man or person must forgive all the drawbacks faults mistakes of others he must be able to forgive others fifth thing is kindness he must have kindness he must show his kindness to other people poor people the people who are who are living around him he must have a good heart to show his kindness to others in the society without any partiality sixth thing is sixth thing is goodness he should do good to all the people who are living around him if he has the spirit of god seventh thing is faithfulness he must have faithfulness he must have faith in god he must be faithful to god must be faithful to all other people around, who are living around him eighth thing is gentleness must have gentleness in his behavior to, towards all other people who are living around him ninth thing is self control he must have self control in his life very important thing tenth thing is patience he must have patience in his character
Eleventh thing is spiritual control. Eleventh thing is spiritual control. He must have control over his life, over his spirit. Spiritually, he must have a control. He must ab must be able to lead a spiritual life, keeping good faith in God. Twelfth thing is perseverance, tolerance. He must be able to tolerate all the sufferings, disturbance, hurts, harms from others. Perseverance. Thirteenth, obedience. He must be able to obey his superiors, seniors, parents, elders in the at, at home and also in the society. Obedience. He must have calmness. Must be calm in his character, not like uh, quarrelling with others or fighting with others or standing with standing with others. must be calm in his character then only we can say that he, he has the spirit of god 15th thing is humility he must be humble in his character humility humble to all the people humility is very important matter for the person who has the spirit of god 16th desire control he must have control over his desires desires of his mind desires of his body he must be able to control all the desires of his mind and body these are the good qualities attributes a man must have if he has the spirit of god if the spirit of him who raised jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised christ jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you romans 8:11 what characteristics will be there in a man if the spirit of satan dolls in him the first characteristic is anger there will be anger in the heart of the man who has the spirit of satan he will express his anger towards all the people without necessity second hatred hatred will be the another quality of a man who has the spirit of satan he will hate all the people thirdly enmity he will keep enmity towards people who are again, who are coming against him enmity he cannot leave enmity from his heart greediness greediness for greediness for all the things money wealth things material things of this world he will be greedy to get all those things in the world greediness fifth one is hostility he will keep hostility towards many people in in the society sixth one is selfishness whatever he has he will not give to anyone else he will keep all things for himself that is selfishness seventh one is indiscipline he will not be he will not have discipline in his, in his life he will keep indiscipline in all of things he will he will not keep discipline in his life whatever he likes whatever comes in his mind he will do those things whether it is right or wrong that is not a matter for him in discipline eighth one is disobedience he will not obey any person any superiors his parents 
elders at home other superiors in the society he will not obey anyone disobedience ninth one ninth quality of a man who has the spirit of satan is arrogance pride keeping arrogance in his heart if he has money he will not show kindness or humility towards anyone instead he will try to dominate other people in the society not only in the society but also at home he wanted to dominate others because of his pride and arrogance pride and arrogance is given by the satan arrogance tenth one is evil thoughts the person who has the spirit of satan will have all the evil thoughts in his heart and he wanted to satisfy or fulfill the evil thoughts which comes in his which come in his mind evil desires evil thoughts he will run after to satisfy the desires of his heart evil desires evil thoughts unbelief faithlessness he will not believe in god he will not have belief in god 13th one is 12th one is jealousy the person who has the spirit of devil or satan will have jealousy in his heart towards other people who have growth prosperity and development in the society 13th one is conflict there will be conflict with other people because the evil spirit which dwells in him will not allow him to keep good relationship with others there will be conflict with other people 14th one is evil desires the man who has the evil spirit will have evil desires in his heart satan will give evil desires in his heart to fulfill satisfy in the world he will run after to satisfy those evil desires which come in his heart 15th one is quarreling he will quarrel with all the people he cannot keep a good relationship with others always there will be fighting wherever he goes he will come with the fight or quarrel he cannot keep a good relationship with other people in the society because the evil spirit which dwells in him will not allow him to keep good relationship with others these are the qualities or attributes of the person who has evil spirit in his heart the spirit of the satan from these characteristics you can understand what spirit which dwells in you whether the spirit of god or the spirit of satan keeping all these qualities you can identify what spirit dwells in you if the spirit of god dwells in you you will be raised by god with the same spirit on the last day of the world subscribe share like